Hello YouTube, Ken Hao here with another Black Desert Online patch notes or video for you here from Korea. I am your crystal ball into the future BDO and you can see, as you can see here on the screen, this is the future. The Hasashin was uh, released uh, this week, yesterday actually, and also the season server, the, new, the next season, the summer season was released here in Korea. And yesterday I did an awesome stream in the morning, uh, as soon as the servers opened up with a new class and a new season, I went on and a bunch of people joined in. It was really amazing seeing all those people there, so thank you very much for those who showed up. Let's hope the, that we can meet again tonight at 9pm Korean Standard Time for some more Hasashin and some more season server action however today we're not going to be speaking too much about the hasashin or uh, the season server i will be making separate videos on those two items because there's a lot of detail to go into and of course in one day of playing a few hours of playing i cannot really learn how to play the class and get into the small details of the class and i do want to give you an overview uh, and uh, some uh, my thoughts my real thoughts on the class instead of just throwing something together within a couple of hours and also we don't really know exactly how the season server is going to is going to work out because they changed a few things and i want to really go ahead and explore those to give you my thoughts on those as well we'll go over the, some of the major details that i do know about the season server but expect a more detailed video on that in the near future but today is actually july 8th 2020 not july 7th this these patch notes came out yesterday but of course i was busy hanging out with you guys on the stream yesterday so i could not get this video out but let's get rolling here. First thing that we have, of course, is the details about the Hasashin coming out and uh, the some events related to the Hasashin here. Nothing that you don't know. I'm just saying that you cannot make the Hasashin and things like that. And here we jump right into uh, the season server. And looking at the picture here, we can already see different pictures, different images from what we had before. These are new stones, and although this is, does not look like it, this is also new gear. And from what I gather from this information here that they're giving us, apparently now the new way to collect the gear is no longer through drops. They really are reducing a lot of the grinding they have to do to get your season server gear enhanced. The, apparently, and from what I've noticed from doing my, a little bit of the main quest, now you get these pieces of Naru gear from the main quest, It'll be handed to you as you complete the quest. I got most of my gear except no not no weapons so far. I got I think most, actually all my armor and uh, some of my accessory pieces. And the way this is gonna do happen is you're gonna use these weapon and armor stones here. The purple of course being the arm the weapon and the blue ones being the armor stones. And you're gonna enhance your Naru equipment to pen and once you get your naru gear to pen, you can then exchange it for pry Kubala gear or Tuvala gear, as they are calling it for you guys there. Seems very strange and convoluted that they're giving you uh, one, you have to enhance one set of gear first and then convert it into a weaker level of gear to then enhance it again to pen. And you can see here, same thing for the weapons. Uh, although it's not saying anything about Naru weapons here, just talking about the Tuvala gear. And this is the awakening weapon. So we'll have to go into, I'll have to go explore the game and do more of the main quest and explore more about this but this whole part here is just very in my opinion unnecessary they they give you it has to enhance one piece of gear and then go back and enhance this other piece of gear the other thing that we have to find out also is that if you're only going to be getting one of each of these through your main quest how are you going to repair this are you are they expecting you to repair because i don't i didn't see any information here about repairing maybe i missed it but are they expecting you to use memory fragments for these that would be very non new player friendly to have to use memory fragments a lot less friendly than the previous uh, model i believe they where you could just purchase more of these uh, tobali gears and and uh, use them to repair as you as you enhanced uh i didn't i only got my gear to my actually i think a weapon because i got a weapon yeah i got that's true i got my main hand i just remember i got my main hand uh weapon and i got that to plus five seven and I got my, my armor to plus five, and it seems uh, it seems like it's the same chances as a Tobali gear, if I remember correctly. It was plus uh, it was seventy percent chance, I believe, uh, once once we got to plus seven and plus five. So it doesn't seem like it's really any easier. Maybe the percentages stay higher uh, throughout uh, up until you get to to pen. They are showing here that it takes only three uh, crown stones to to do a safe enhance to pen on your Naru gear. So of course th three crown stones per attempt is a lot better than any other hand attempts that you ever see in your life but then you, you can still you should exchange your naru gear for your tobali gear and then enhance that from there what they're also not saying showing anywhere here is uh, that there is no conversion 
off here as far as uh, ch exchanging these weapons or, or armor or your regular boss gear. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with these. Stay tuned. The other thing that they're also showing here is that now you can actually use regular black stones to make these new stones here. So now if you're a veteran player, you're going to have even more resources. You're going to be able to use your even more of your resources from your regular characters to help your seasoned characters. So it's becoming less of a new player only experience and more of a if you're already a veteran, you're going to have a, a even a bigger edge uh, than uh, over a new player than you would otherwise. As you can see here, you can use just three black stones to make one of these so i'm not saying this is a good deal i'm just saying it's a possibility so if you're swimming on black stones like i have uh, like three almost three thousand over each of these black stones uh i could get a huge jump start here and probably pen all my gear right away as soon as i get it if i really wanted to i'm not gonna but i could and then here is they also say that they reduce the amount of crown stones needed in the summer season server to uh, attempt your pride duo try tat and pen to bala gear so before you need a 20 for your pen attempt uh now you only need 15 which is not too bad not much worse than the the, the three i guess five times more but no from three to 15 it's not that big of a deal especially considering that you're gonna have to use a bunch of chrome stones here just to get to here by right, the prior attempt and then you're gonna have to start using all those stones chrome stones I don't know, maybe they're trying to get rid of uh, chrome stones in the server, or maybe they're trying to get rid of uh, black stones. I did see that in Korea, the price of the black stones did go up by about 40k a piece. 40,000 silver more expensive in, in the past few days. So, uh, I don't know if it's a consequence of this or what, but uh, people are enhancing more in Korea. And then they're giving you also this drop here. I'm not going to go into detail, but it's just, just drops in uh, Valencia, Grana, Regan, and Odalita. And you can exchange for advice of Valks and things like that. And then here's another thing that you can get from the season server you're gonna get these coconut petals or coconut leaves from doing from the the season challenges and from the boxes they open as you level up as a your season character and you can exchange those for mostly not important things but the cool things here is the manos accessories 30 of these petals for each manos accessory and also at the end here you have uh, the 40 for 40 petals you can exchange for a weapon main hand awakening or offhand exchange coupon for a different class and for 50 it says you can get a set with three uh I, i'm not sure no the only way i can understand this is a sh weapon exchange three set so I, I, my own, the only way I can read this is to get exchange for the three weapons, but seems like for only 10 more, you can get three. And I don't know why they would put 40 for each of them, unless getting 50 stones or 50 petals or 50 leaves, it really is a lot harder than getting 40. I haven't counted how many you get yet because there's really no way of, for me to know it because I haven't finished the challenges and therefore I cannot open the quest or the boxes that you get from leveling up. But once I finish all the challenges here and open all the boxes and get all the petals, I will let you know. So stay tuned for the season server video so that we can find out exactly how all this works. And then this is the amazing new <laughs> reward. And as you know, last season we got the pen Kaposha gear. A choice between earring and a ring. This time around, they are giving you a non-repairable 150 charges alchemy stone, which is really a spirit stone because you cannot recharge it. That's right here. You cannot enhance it. You cannot recharge it. And it, it gives you one DP, which is an evasion. No, it's a damage reduction DP, sorry. And it gives you monster damage received minus 5% and overall damage reduction 4. And it heals 1 HP per hit. And it gives you resistances. 5% movement speed, 5%. It gives plus 200 health and it gives you plus 100 stamina in the last five minutes. The stats are not terrible. I wouldn't mind getting more movement speed and getting uh, some damage reduction for the Odalita areas. But the fact that you had to wait three months to get this and as far as stats, permanent stats goes, it only gives you one DP and it has only 150 non-repairable charges. Uh, that is, that pales in comparison to uh, the Kaposha uh, ring or earring that you can get from last season. So I'm not sure, I'm hoping that they would change this somehow. And then we move on here to the new hairstyles for the ladies. Last week we got the new hairstyles for the men, and this week we got three new hairstyles for uh, the ladies. Uh, this, these two here look pretty much the same, just only one of this. A little wavier than this one, this one is a little straighter. 
and you can see here again there is there was only three but they are showing the, how they look in every class every female class so if you play a female character this week is your turn and then moving on here to some red battlefield changes they are applying i, I believe this is a new mechanic i don't do a lot of red battlefield so it may already exist it just it may just be a different thing but they are the, what they're doing now is once you hit 50 percent of your health you get this much damage reduction 10 percent damage reduction and as your, your health goes down by these amounts here that you can see up to 90 percent you're going to get 50 percent damage reduction and then I have a little example here to illustrate this if i re again if i'm reading this correctly it says if you have 5,000 5, max health and you go to 3000 you don't get any effect but if you hit 2.5 which is 50 percent then you get your 10 percent damage reduction here from that point I i'm not sure if this is really going to change much usually i'm deleted almost instantly with my 312 dp anyways so it might instead of taking uh two seconds for me to die while i'm cc they might take four it might take four seconds for me to die. Maybe I can actually get out of the CC in that time and, and, and heal up a little bit. I don't know. We'll, 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 you let me know your thoughts down below. And maybe let me know if I'm reading this wrong. It, it, seems, it seems like that's it. But uh, I could always be misunderstanding something here. And then we have events here. Uh, most of them, of course, are going to be related to the Hasashin release and the Season Server release. This time they're giving you, you collect these for leveling up your character in the season server uh, up to 61. And then you can exchange them for these prizes here that you already know. This, this being a Kaffir Stone bundle and advice of Valks for these amounts here. And of course, Valks Tears, Valks, Valks Cries, Throne Stones, and, and this Spirit Stone here. Which is, if, if it's the same one they gave us last time, it's pretty good. I'm actually using this on my current season server character because i saved it from the last season and then they are giving us this is a daily buff that you can get for grinding you can choose between 60 minutes for 200 bonus or 120 minutes for if you want a 100 percent experience bonus and then they're just giving showing you the, the where the season server reward panel is you can go and click and they're going over all the individual rewards here again i'll cover this on a separate video but they are mostly different from previous the previous season there's no longer a list of loot boxes at the end there's only one from what i see loot box at the very end which is i believe a shakatu yet yeah? shakatu box they can open at the very end here and of course if you pay to win you get another shakatu box the free to play version is combat shakatu box and the pay to win version is a life skilling shakatu box and they're giving you here a bunch of the coconut if you're going to go ahead and do the math on these coconut boxes here uh, coconut leaves this is what they're called they said coco coco maybe it's not coconut maybe just coco i just realized that this doesn't say coconut it just say coco over here so it's not a coconut leaf it's just a coco leaf so uh uh whatever anyway uh this is what they're called if you want to count them i'll i'll uh once i know the total again uh after playing through the main quest and opening all the boxes i will let you know the total amount that i got and you know seeing that there are some of them here on the pay to win list maybe the only way to get the 50 total is from doing the buying the season pass so maybe that's why they're giving you the three weapon exchange coupon for 50 and then continuing on here they're telling, they're telling us about the hot time they're giving us uh this amount of percentage bonus here for the regular server 20 percent for combat and 30 percent for skill experience and on the hot on the season server they're giving us 250 experience but only 25 percent skill experience interesting and then they're giving us the rewards for leveling up your assassin 15 25 35 45 and 55 strangely they're not doing it like they used to the 60 uh, i believe before it was like 56 and then to six through 60 i believe now they're making it easier for people to get the rewards and they are giving you some gold bars some inventory space which is pretty welcome and then some there's some experience combat experience scrolls and then same thing here just a different amount and then here they start adding some elion tears and some black stones and uh blood scroll and then same thing here but now they're adding some hearts and sharps and a Sula accessory box. Uh, I don't know why why we need an Asula box, but anyways. Uh, and then here, gold bars, advice of Alex plus forty, old moon buff seven days, and a enhancing material bundle. I don't know what this is. 
but uh, some spirit something that you get 400 minutes. Uh, let me see if I can find this out. Oh, okay. This is just the advanced experience or combat experience scroll. The one that gives you 200 experience and 30 skill points, 400 minutes. And then moving on here to uh, login reward for 21 days, I believe. Yep. Just uh, nothing new here. Some uh, premium horse appearance exchange coupons, some, some device of Valks loot box, artisan memories. You, you know all these icons. So you can take a look at the screen here. Shakato box. Uh, horse reset, or horse breeding reset, horse ex uh, horse skill exchange token, and some shakato boxes. And then they have an event here for leveling up. This is just like they had with the guardian, where these randomly spawn these tornadoes randomly spawn with the guardian. I believe was like a flame that spawned randomly, and while you're grinding. And actually, one of these spawned in Garmoth last night, and <laughs> I clicked it even though I wasn't gonna grind. But anyways. This one is going to give you 300% skill experience boost as well as an item drop of 20% buff for 180 minutes while you're grinding with your any character really because I got mine last night with my Mehua. So it's not a Hasashin only thing. Anybody can take advantage of this. So maybe I should use this time to go grind with my grind Mansion Forest try to get my potion piece from there. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be grinding in Tisha Ruins with my Hasashin to get the potion piece from there anyways. So I'll be taking advantage of this loot drop over there. Yeah, cool, cool thing. Uh, and now they have here, what is this? Oh, they have the Leighton, the Leighton mob thing, the elite spawning randomly around the world. It was pretty funny when this, when it happened to me on stream last night without me knowing about it. I was running my horse with my Hasashin to, from Heidel to Alta Nova. And it just randomly spawned. It was like, we were, everybody was like, why is that a latent right here? We didn't realize there was an event going. But anyways, if your character is 50 to 55, it's going to spawn this kind of latent. And if your character is 56 or higher, it's going to spawn, spawn the ancient. It looks like that's what it's called. And you get a latent box out of it. And these are the rewards that you can get. Yeah, I believe this is a pry latent or a regular latent or a duo latent. Or you can get some uh, some hards and sharps, some chrome stones and some other enhancing goodies. And then to the class changes here, only two class changes this week and they are not major. Well, the ranger one might be major. So for ranger, apparently absolute charging wind was knocking people down in PvP. And as it says in the description of the skill itself, it should only work in PvE. So they fixed it so you can if you're a ranger and you're doing pvp now you can no longer knock people down with absolute charging wind i'm not sure how much of an issue this was before because i don't play ranger and i really don't pvp so who knows but anyways and now for the tamer you can no longer apparently before you could use your evasion move with the tamer and mount your horse at the same time this ability the ability to do that was also removed i'm not sure why this was needed to be able to dodge and mount your horse but and you can no longer do it and that's it for the class changes this week and then going to item changes here this is all as far as i remember these are all explanation changes and and that's pretty much it here they they're also changing another semi-important change that they're raising uh, the level requirements for some of the adventure journals apparently they were all 56 before but now the devi or Deves, whatever however you want to call it book it requires level 57 yaman Book. I don't know which one this is. I haven't done this one, but it's now level 58. Ruby or Ruby. I don't know which one this is either, but it's now also 58. And then the Doreen Mogrin is now level 59. And the uh, Abinu, I don't know which one this is either, it now requires level 60. And the Kane, also level 60. Of course, if you already finished yours, uh, then you're good to go. Uh, and then some composing changes here. I don't think many people are interested in that, but if you are, good, because you, uh, you should be, because music is amazing. Uh, and let me see, let me know if you've been writing music in BDO. I haven't. Uh, maybe I should look into this. But I don't have a Shy, and as, as far as I know, Shy is really the only one who can do this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should look into that. And then monster changes. They're making some monsters here tougher uh, around the quest areas for some reason. And one other relevant change here, perhaps, is that they're reducing the drop Great for shy weapons in, in uh, the Dragon areas, Tisha Ruins, Blood Wolves, and Sherakon. They're reducing by 50% and they're increasing the dragon scale fossil things by 25%. So expect a decrease in price on your, on your fossils, your dragon fossils, once this, this patch comes live to you guys. And uh, expect to be able to enhance for cheaper using those if you use those as you should because it saves you a lot of time. 
And that's going to be it for the patch notes here. I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning. Let's hop into the game and look at the cash shop. All right, so here we are in game in the cash shop. My beautiful Mehua, who is training my newly acquired level a tier 7 horse, which I, yeah, I bred out of two other tier 7 horses that I was really hoping to get another tier 8 out of it. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. So anyways, uh, of course, there's a set for the Hasashin outfit. If you had not seen in the trailers yet, you can now check it out here. It looks pretty good. Uh, doesn't look perhaps as good as it would have if I, we had not seen it so many times already in other places like videos and trailers and stuff like that and my fans are starting to scream here but anyways uh here he is in all its glory the hasashin looking a lot more thematic than my hasashin i don't have the outfit on my character yet uh i'll, I'll probably get it once i finish the all the season pass stuff i'll go and buy the actual season pass so i can get all the goodies once and feel like i won the lottery uh but you also so we got a costume and then you got of course underwear that goes with it this one is kind of cool doesn't look like underwear but uh maybe it looks like underwear from a long time ago and of course you got this other underwear here and then you got this pet which is not showing which i think is a new pet anyways you get all this bundle here it's pretty good price for all this stuff actually you got a 15 day Ooh, i might buy this I just i just noticed and i get a coupon oh this is gonna be it i think i'm gonna buy this and then just just either cron this or sell it on the store all right maybe we can just not buy the season pass and just get this instead get a pat the new pat let's check <laughs> anyway let's check out the new pat and here you go pretty cool looking dog here i'm a pet guy myself but uh this dog is looking pretty cool this reminds me of like uh, warframe shenanigans here looking pretty what's the difference between level this level and this level I don't see any difference, but uh, anyways, pretty cool. So if you're into dogs, let's see uh, what uh, skill we got from this guy here. We got skill experience, it looks like. Okay, anyways, pretty cool. Uh, I would like to know how big this dog is. If it's like as tiny as all the other pets, then it's not as cool because it looks really big here. Let's see if, uh, if uh, yeah, see, so if he's actually this much bigger than the other pets, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having one of these uh, riding along me. Pretty funny. Anyways, so this is a new pet and uh, new stuff. Any good sales, any events going on? Just the same thing as before. Uh, now we got a lawn. 10% discount for this really cool outfit. This is the Awakening outfit, right? I believe. And that's it for the cash shop. Of course, you got the bundles for uh, new character stuff. You got your inventory slots and your branding stones which i could also buy because you know, i have some stuff for my my valkyrie that could be branded that's it, for the, that's it for the cash shop let's go back into the main web page but yeah that's gonna be it for the today's patch notes video stay tuned like i said for uh, the upcoming videos about the hasashin and the season server more detailed videos on uh, those two topics if you're interested but if you want to get more information before the videos come out come to the stream i'm going to be streaming tonight and on twitch as usual 9 p.m korean standard time and tomorrow as well, 9 p.m. Korean Standard Time. But other than that, as always, if you liked the video and thought it was informative, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like button. If you want to see more video content from me, don't forget to subscribe. And also come join our Twitch community and our Discord server. Links for all those are down below. But that's going to be it from me for now. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.